Dr. Dave. Welcome to a neuroscience lesson on the 12 cranial nerves, the trigeminal nerve, the fifth cranial nerve, also called the fifth nerve or simply V, is responsible for sensation in the face. Sensory information from the face and body is processed by parallel pathways in the central nervous system. The fifth nerve is primarily a sensory nerve, but it also has certain motor functions, biting, chewing, and swallowing. These are discussed separately. The sensory function of the trigeminal nerve is to provide the tactile, proprioceptive, and nociceptive efferents of the face and mouth. The posterior scalp and the neck are innervated by C2-C3, not by the trigeminal nerve. The motor function activates the muscles of the mastication, the tensor tympani, tensor veli palatini, myelioid, and anterior belly of the digastric. The trigeminal nerve is the largest of the cranial nerves. Its name derives from the fact that it has three major branches. The ophthalmic nerve, V1, the maxillary nerve, V2, and the mandibular nerve. V3. The ophthalmic and maxillary nerves are purely sensory. The mandibular nerve has both sensory and motor functions. The three branches converge on the trigeminal ganglion, also called the semilunar ganglion or gasirinian ganglion, that is located within Meckel's cave, and contains the cell bodies of incoming sensory nerve fibers. The trigeminal ganglion is analogous to the dorsal root ganglia of the spinal cord, which contain the cell bodies of incoming sensory fibers from the rest of the body. From the trigeminal ganglion, a single large sensory root enters the brainstem at the level of the pons. Immediately adjacent to the sensory root, a smaller motor root emerges from the pons at the same level. Motor fibers pass through the trigeminal ganglion on their way to peripheral muscles, but their cell bodies are located in the motor nucleus of the fifth nerve, deep within the pons. Motor fibers are distributed, together with sensory fibers, in branches of the mandibular nerve, the areas of cutaneous distribution, your mitoms. Of the three branches of the trigeminal nerve have sharp borders with relatively little overlap, unlike dermatoms in the rest of the body, which show considerable overlap. Injection of local anesthetics such as lidocaine results in the complete loss of sensation from well-defined areas of the face and mouth. For example, the teeth on one side of the jaw can be numbed by injecting the mandibular nerve, the ophthalmic. Maxillary and mandibular branches leave the skull through three separate foramina, the superior orbital fissure, the foramen rotundum and the foramen ovale. The mnemonic standing room only can be used to remember that V1 passes through the superior orbital fissure, V2 through the foramen rotundum, and V3 through the foramen ovale. The ophthalmic nerve carries sensory information from the scalp and forehead, the upper eyelid, the conjunctive eye and cornea of the eye, the nose, including the tip of the nose, the nasal mucosa, the frontal sinuses, and parts of the meninges, the dura and blood vessels. The maxillary nerve carries sensory information from the lower eyelid and cheek, the nares and upper lip. The upper teeth and gums, the nasal mucosa, the palate and roof of the pharynx, the maxillary, amoid and sphenoid sinuses, and parts of the meninges. The mandibular nerve carries sensory information from the lower lip, the lower teeth and gums, the chin and jaw, except the angle of the jaw, which is supplied by C2-C3, parts of the external ear and parts of the meninges. The mandibular nerve carries touch slash position and pain slash temperature sensation from the mouth. It does not carry taste sensation, but one of its branches. The lingual nerve carries multiple types of nerve fibers that do not originate in the mandibular nerve. Motor branches of the trigeminal nerve are distributed in the mandibular nerve. 
These fibers originate in the motor nucleus of the fifth nerve, which is located near the main trigeminal nucleus in the pons. Motor nerves are functionally quite different from sensory nerves, and their association in the peripheral branches of the mandibular nerve is more a matter of convenience than of necessity. In classical anatomy, the trigeminal nerve is said to have general somatic afferent, sensory, components, as well as special visceral afferent, motor, components. The motor branches of the trigeminal nerve control the movement of eight muscles, including the four muscles of mastication, with the exception of tensor tympani. All of these muscles are involved in biting, chewing and swallowing. All have bilateral cortical representation, a central lesion, e.g., a stroke, no matter how large, is unlikely to produce any observable deficit. However, injury to the peripheral nerve can cause paralysis of muscles on one side of the jaw. The jaw deviates to the paralyzed side when it opens. There are two basic types of sensation touch slash position and pain slash temperature. They are distinguished, roughly speaking, by the fact that touch slash position input comes to attention immediately, whereas pain slash temperature input reaches the level of consciousness only after a perceptible delay. Think of stepping on a pen. There is immediate awareness of stepping on something, but it takes a moment before it starts to hurt. In general, touch-slash-position information is carried by myelinated, fast-conducting, nerve fibers, whereas pain-slash-temperature information is carried by unmyelinated, slow-conducting, nerve fibers, the primary sensory receptors for touch-slash-position, Meissner S. corpuscles, Merkel's receptors, Puccinian corpuscles, Ruffini S. corpuscles, the receptors, muscle spindle organs, Golgi tendon organs, are structurally more complex than the primitive receptors for pain slash temperature, which are bare nerve endings. The term sensation, as used in this article, refers to the conscious perception of touch slash position and pain slash temperature information. It does not refer to the so-called special senses, smell, sight taste, hearing and balance, which are processed by different cranial nerves and sent to the cerebral cortex through different pathways. The perception of magnetic fields, electrical fields, low frequency vibrations and infrared radiation by certain non-human vertebrates is processed by the equivalent of the fifth cranial nerve in these animals. The term touch, as used in this article, refers to the perception of detailed, localized tactile information, such as two-point discrimination, the difference between touching one point and two closely spaced points, or the difference between grades of sandpaper, coarse, medium and fine. People that lack touch-slash-position perception can still feel the surface of their bodies, and can therefore perceive touch in a crude, yes or no way, but they lack the rich perceptual detail that we normally experience. The term position, as used in this article, refers to conscious proprioception, proprioceptors, muscle spindle organs and Golgi tendon organs, provide information about joint position and muscle movement. Much of this information is processed at an unconscious level mainly by the cerebellum and the vestibular nuclei. However, some of this information is available at a conscious level. The two types of sensation in humans, touch slash position and pain slash temperature, are processed by different pathways in the central nervous system. The distinction is hardwired, and it is maintained all the way to the cerebral cortex. Within the cerebral cortex, Sensations are further hardwired to, associated with, other cortical areas. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.